Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to be sharing with you seven mostly all natural ways that you can rid your house of ants in just three easy steps. You all, this bathroom was covered in ants. That's the absolute truth. It was disgusting. They were crawling all over the counters, like in the makeup. You get the jam. And I was like, these things have got to go. And I tried seven of these methods out and you all, I have not seen an ant in weeks. Okay, step one in our ant domination is figure out where they're coming in. In my particular scenario, they were coming in through this window right here. They're oh so tiny. They were getting in the cracks and then going around in my counters and all up in here and it was no good. This is the outside window where they were coming in. So what I decided to do is attack the perimeter around here. Step two of this process is pick your poison. Ants hate vinegar. So what I like to do is take a combination of equal parts water uh, to equal parts vinegar, put it in a spray bottle right here, and you can spray around the perimeter and the inside where the ants are coming in for extra measure. Number two, cinnamon. Ants do not like this. I put this around the outside of my home and around the entryway or window wells. Lemon. This is one of my favorites right here because it smelled awesome. You can also put this in your floor cleaner to help keep ants at bay. So again, Again, just put as much lemon as you like in a spray bottle. Uh, there's no correct ratio for this particular one. More is better in my personal opinion right here. And those ants should be gone in no time. I love peppermint essential oils. I actually use this in my own homemade all-purpose multi-purpose cleaner. So I'll link that in the description box below if you're looking to make that. But put this in a spray bottle just like I showed you previously. And you can use as many drops as you like. I think I used up to 30 drops right here. And not only made my home smell amazing, but those ants were no more. Ants also do not like salt, so put a bunch of this. I would say like a half a cup, I mean that's a lot, in a spray bottle, whatever you can, in hot water so that it breaks down the salt right here. Again, you can put this on the inside or the outside of your house, but see if you can find the entryway of where those little buggers are coming in. Number six, can we sense a theme here? Ants love sweet things and they hate citric things and things that are salty and peppery. Cayenne pepper is wonderful, but you can also use black pepper. Again, you can just spray this along the entryway of your home and window wells. You can put this on the inside and the outside. And the great thing is you don't necessarily have to worry about your kids or your dogs getting into something like this. Ha ha ha, get you right where I want you. <laughs> Now, these methods are not going to kill them, but they will deter them from coming into your home. This next method right here, if you would like to have a ceremony for said ants, let me show you what you can do. Now, this next one is my favorite if you really want to maximize on your ant defeating abilities right here. And this method is the best, especially if you do not want to use any sort of really heavy duty commercial products. What I show you here, you're gonna wanna keep out of reach of children and pets, but have no fear, my friend. This is something that you probably have seen before, and I often like to use it in my laundry, which is just crazy, but it works so well. First thing that you'll need here is half a cup of sugar. This is what's gonna lure the ants in. They love that sugar. Get yourself a bowl. About one and a half tablespoons of borax. You wanna have a lot more sugar then you have to borax. If there's too much borax, they will not take our amazing bait right here. Borax, you all, it is wonderful. I've made a ton of cleaning hack videos for this particular product right here, but this has been around for forever. If you are brand new to using borax, you can use it on mattresses, which I love, garbage pails, outdoor furniture, towel, grout, refrigerator, stainless steels, pots, pans, microwave, and fine china. Once you've got your borax mixed in, you're gonna add some warm water. I like to use one and a half cups. Slowly pour that in. I just gave it a good stir. Finally, what you wanna do is take a bunch of cotton balls. Oh, I love cotton balls. I'm gonna link some videos that I think would be really fun and interesting and helpful for you at the uh, in the description box of this video. And you're gonna soak these cotton balls in our sugar and borax mixture. And then you're gonna put these anywhere that ants are coming into your home or where you want to deter them. What the ants are gonna do is they're gonna have a nice little taste of our mixture and they're gonna bring it back to the mothership and share it with all of their friends and family and essentially poison them. Another little bonus tip here for you because I love giving you as much as I possibly can. You see it's more of a paste. I've diluted it, taken out some of the water. What you can actually do is put this in little Ziploc baggies and then poke holes in it and they will climb into the baggies if you don't love the cotton ball method right here and it will have the same powerful impact. Impact. Now you may be asking how soon can we see the results of having less ants coming into our home? For me, it was anywhere between 48 and 72 hours. I did apply this borax method a few times because I had a lot of ants 
that were coming in. So apply as much as you need to, and you will find over several days that the amount of ants that you find running around your counters and up your walls is less and less. I know it's disgusting, but I think it's something that many of us go through, uh, especially in the springtime right here. And the final step to ridding your home of ants, one, figure out where they're coming in, two, pick your poison, and three, make sure that you clear your countertaps of sugar, anything sweet that they would be drawn to. If you have recycling with pop cans in there, make sure that you are rinsing out those pop cans, clean your floors frequently, uh, your kitchen floors, vacuum your carpet, just get rid of anything that ants would be drawn to, anything sweet. Make sure that you sign up for the newsletter in the description box below, which is all things cleaning tips, tricks, and hacks. Give the video a thumbs up so that I can reach more people. Share it out to anyone else that needs to rid their home of ants, especially during the springtime and change of seasons.